It's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? Uh. Is that you, Sonny? That's the thing that I kind of am trying to work on, like the authenticity of what do I want, you know? Yeah. And growing up, a lot of things were about what can I do for the people I love? Yeah. How much of myself can I give? I have no more to give, let's continue giving because how can I let anybody else suffer if I love them, right? But, but now I'm learning how can I let myself suffer if I am supposed to love myself. I yeah. should love myself. I'm my own partner, right? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be with me forever. Yeah. So it's more important than like being, like making your husband or your like wife or whatever, your partner happy, because at the end of the day, like you're the one who has to stick with you. Yeah. And you have no choice in that. So you might as well fucking like love yourself. Otherwise you're gonna yeah. be living here for a pretty shitty life. Yeah, fuck everybody. In the end, it's just you. It's you just know? me, yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I love that. I think it's also just important to know that you have to be extremely selfish in relationships because like when I think of all the people that are positive influences in my life, it's not like they were trying really hard to make me like them. It's like they're very self-assured people. And it's like you positively influence people by being very self-confident and very, kind of selfish. The moments that I feel most powerful are when I'm talking to someone and I'm just like spitballing, just talking about things that matter to me. And my eyes I can feel are like, you know that meme with the guy and like he has the red, uh, you know, the like, he's like pointing at a whiteboard and there's just like stuff connected to everything. And he's like, this yes. is it. Yes. yes. I yes. can feel my eyes like that. I'm like, oh my God. And this is what it means to be a human. And then they're like looking at me with like stars in their eyes and they're like, oh, yes. And I'm like, yes, we're connecting, but also like, I want to be the person that they see me as. You know, I can see in their eyes that they think I'm, you know, I have like depth, I have a personality, I have things worth contributing to this world. Yeah. And yet, 99% of the time, I feel like, God damn it, Valerie, why did you do that? Okay, well, now I know why I did that because, of course, like I would do that. I can, and anyone would make that mistake, but like, God damn it. God damn it, Valerie. Why do you, do that? you know? <laughs> it's it's hard to not be hard on yourself. You kind of have to be egotistical if you want to be very happy and very self-confident. You have to think that like, oh, I'm such a beast. Like, look at me. Yes, I'm smarter than yes, everyone else, right? Yes. Right? Well, that's the thing is I think both of us think that we're smarter than the average person our age, but we're also critical because we know we're just young and naive, you know, and it's hard to find that balance because we have doubts about our own personality and like, oh, am I really smart? Am I really interesting? Am I... Do I deserve to like be excited about things? Like what if what if these things I'm talking about or I'm passionate about, like what if they're kinda of stupid? What if they're kinda of yeah. like, you know? It's it's like something like the other day I was I was rereading my journal, which you know I've kept and like I try to write in every day, but I never actually write in it every day. But like, you know, I'm reading over the things I've said and I've thought and like at those moments I was like, this is so like this is like me revisioning myself. This is like, this is good stuff that I'm putting out into like from my brain. Wow, I'm incredible, like validating myself. And then I read it over and all I can think is like, wow, Valerie, like that's the dumbest thing. Of course, anyone thinks that. Why do you think that's special? Why do you think that's great? You know, and so it's just, you have so much self doubt, especially when, you, when you've been raised to like, first of all, like be special in a normal classroom like oh you're so smart valerie well yeah you're such a good like student valerie you're like you're never a troublemaker well of course because i want to please you i want to validate you like i want to be validated by you you're my teacher you're an authority figure and that like circles back to like childhood traumas which can mean something like being abused or like assaulted but it could also just mean like being neglected yeah being raised by parents who didn't know how to love you in the way that you needed which I also struggle with. Yeah. Like, what do you think is the biggest thing you see that messes kids up as they're growing up that people don't really pay attention to? Adults want to be adults. I don't think most adults, especially ki adults raising kids, most of the time they see themselves as someone who is superior, giving to a child, yeah. supporting a child, loving a child, nurturing a child. You know, like everything that is like from above, you're giving to someone below. But that means that like when a child is so excited that the sky is blue, that the flowers have purple petals and not blue petals like they've always seen, the t adult is like, they're there. Yes, I know, that's so cool. And like kids aren't dumb, you know? They, they can feel that energy coming off from you. They recognize that, hey, that's not exciting, you know? Yeah. And then the kids try to act jaded. When in reality, adults, 
don't fucking know what they're doing ever anyways, yeah. you know? There's there's a certain age, I don't know if it's like 15 to 18, where it just becomes cool to not give a fuck and be like jaded and uninterested, yeah. you know? Like for example, back when the Twilight series was getting big and people thought that there's this one girl who's super cool because she just doesn't give a fuck and she's never happy. And then now we get a bunch of rappers who are you know, making it the cool thing to be depressed and really, you yeah. know, mellow and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, what happened to just childish joy yeah. at random shit? Yeah, you know? and and if you look, they actually did a study on um, like people who are like content with life and like monks and whatever. And they found that the part of their brain, like I think like the frontal, either I think it was the frontal left area, that part of their brain actually has more mass, has more like brain matter because what they feel is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. That's like the one feeling that all of them shared, which is they're just like fucking excited to be here. They're excited about the tree. They're excited about the sky. And it's not that these things are inherently exciting. People no. are just coming up with ways to train themselves to be excited about things. Yeah. Which is like just a mind. That's why like when I have friends that are very depressed, the first thing I ask is like, so so what do you what do you like? What do you want to do? And it's like. Oh, I don't want to do anything. Nothing interests me. And it's like, well, nothing interests me either. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to sit here and make a video. I'm, I'm com like, there's nothing inherently interesting about anything that I'm interested in, right? It's I'm, I'm coming up with excitement. You're, you're making a choice. Yeah, yeah. I'm making the choice to be excited about it. Yeah. And it's like you have to make that flip in order to save yourself from yeah. spiraling into not giving a fuck Just about like, life. Uh, yeah. But at the same time, like, I've been that person. Like, hell. Yeah, like, I've definitely been there. But I'm not. I'm not yeah. like super happy all the time and excited. Yeah. But it's like this disinterest is something that everyone makes a choice to get over. You yeah, know? but it's hard to make that choice. Like yeah. just last week I was like laying in bed and I was like, you know, like I fucking- Fuck, this is it. Yeah, I love personality typing. I love analyzing human behavior. I hate it right now. Yeah. Actually, I don't even hate it. I just don't give a shit. Yeah. Like there's nothing better than just laying here, but I hate laying here, but I hate getting up. Yeah. I mean, I don't think people are inherently unhappy, but I think that this society has pushed us to be jaded, to act like you know what you're doing. Yeah. Like to rush around and be like, sorry, I'm too busy because like I have things to do because yeah. I'm important. Yeah. But like no one takes the time to like be present, right? Yeah. And like that's like all the rage right now. And, like I don't know if that's true or if I'm just following the new age like movement that everyone's into right now, the Gen Z shit or whatever. But like, I don't know, like I think if we just revert back to who we were and like love our inner child, like will actually want to seek out that like excitingness like we will be excited about the trees we yeah. will be because like it's fucking cool that like every tree has a different fucking leaf like that's yeah. cool like yeah and it's so hard to be excited about this stuff because what are we spending all of our time on we're looking at our phones we're being i'm playing we're eating all day. sugar we're playing video games that are wired to give us the most you know scientifically engineered dopamine hits that people can come up with, yeah. right? And it's like when you have millions of dollars or billions of dollars put into, you know, Instagram to design it to be addictive, right? A nice day outside doesn't stand a fucking chance, exactly. right? So it's like we just go out really foggy brained and scatter brained and jaded because nothing compares to the, sh the food we're eating, the the social media, you know, and it's yeah. not it's not even conscious, right? It's just we're jaded because it's like our level of what we need to be entertained is so like strange, it's so yeah. messed up and artificial. But then think about that. Why do we want to es escape into these things? Why do we want to escape into gluttony? Because people want to make money. Everything? Well, that too, but like, why do we allow ourselves to be those victims? I mean, aside from the fact that like, we probably don't think about things like that, yeah. like, like the people making money are actively trying to do that, but also it's like, it's to escape the fact that we have to feel jaded. Like, what do I do when I play like some video game and like, I like win against almost all odds and it's like super like hyping and like adrenaline, like just like is rushing through my brain. It's because like, I finally feel something other than like bored yeah. and like depressed and it's like, like not interested. Why do you feel that way? It's like, that's just a whole other. That's like a whole cycle of duh. But like, yeah, so it's like, we just, we don't want to, the society tells us that we should be so jaded, but we want to escape that. Yeah. So to escape, es escape that, bit, we go into like stuff that gives us that little bit of adrenaline. Yeah. But like we could just get that from like going for a walk, yeah. going for a run. Yeah. But like I found a fuzzy leaf, and I was like, oh my god. That's it's amazing. Like we're we're wired to be out in nature a lot. Yeah. Like sun, 
being around trees, being around nature, it's good for us. Scientifically, know? it's proven it's, that it's, it's proven so much to be better. good for us. Yeah. yeah. So like, I was listening to this podcast about this lady who was like looking at that, and she was like, "How does she walk to work every day to study this shit?" She looks literally; her eyes never leave the trees. Like, so she just stares at the sky. Like, as she's walking, she probably looks dumb as shit. But like, it actually gives her like some sort of happiness and some sort of natural sense of existing that a lot of us have have lost. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Awesome. Well, it was really nice talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Of course. Here.